five alarms ready, clothes set out to get up in the morning and do what it is that I need to do. Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back. This year has went by so fast. We have like two months left. It just makes me put everything into perspective and how life is short and how important it is to like live our lives each and every day and do what, we, what feels right to us. And so that kind of brings me to the topic today. The topic is things I had to let go to level up. And it was a journey. Hi, okay, kisses, kisses. <laughs> so the first thing I had to let go was the, well, my idea of perfectionism. Me personally, my idea of perfect, what, what looked perfect, what seemed right, was almost paralyzing me and taking those steps towards it because I knew I wasn't there yet. And in the beginning, it seems like such a far journey to get there through a lot of self-development, self-growth. I realized that I am perfect right now. Everything that I want to be, I already am. I just have to put forth the effort to align with that. I say all that to say, it's totally normal to want to evolve into something better to your better version, your higher self, but it's also okay to be happy and love who you are at this very moment. That allows you to let go of all the negative thoughts of yourself of your environment and show gratitude and that will ultimately make you happier and level up your mental so another thing that i had to let go which was one of the first things i let go because i had begun to notice it a while back and i just wanted to see how would it, i wanted to do a test like a project of like how it would affect my life and so i stopped watching like scary movies or like reality tv shows i stopped listening to rap music i stopped listening to like any music that had a, a negative um what's it called a negative message i distanced myself from negative people if you didn't get cut off you were distanced from and for it like even family if like you were negative i set up boundaries and i distanced myself i had to because I had enough going on in my mind that I could not continue to let other things pour into me and just make it more than what it is. And so what made me do this, right? A lot of things that we watch or listen to, they enter our subconscious mind without us knowing. And so, for example, like our limiting beliefs, those make up our subconscious mind. And 95% of our life is controlled by our subconscious mind. So you can see how important it is to make sure that you are reframing limiting beliefs or negative thoughts and replacing them with positive affirmations and positive things. That's essentially controlling your life. For example, if you believe that you can't do anything right, well, 95% of your life subconsciously, you're probably not gonna do anything right in your eyes. Our subconscious mind controls how we interact with others, how we interact with ourselves, how we present ourselves, and so much more. So it is vital that you control what you consume as much as you can and limit the negativity and increase the positive content as much as you can because that is gonna be key to leveling up your life, okay? Oh my God, the next point. Hi, are you liking this video? Are you feeling this? My dog is like all over me right now. If you like this video so far, please like and subscribe and like please join the family because this channel is all about leveling up growth, <laughs> development, and like ultimately living a life to be the best version of ourselves. Okay, so the next one is letting go of things that you are not or you don't feel aligned with. And so that could be your job, that could be clothing, that could be the food that you eat, any of that. Letting go of those things. So I have a little story time. 
when I graduated college, I found a job in the finance industry and it was lovely. I learned a lot, but in time, I started to almost self-sabotage myself. I could tell that I didn't, I wasn't happy. I knew this wasn't it for me. It was nice and I was learning a lot, but I kept on finding myself trying to get into a new position, a better position or something. I wasn't happy with the position I was in at that point anymore. All in all, I did not work with that company anymore. After that, I did go and look for other jobs. I did that because I felt like that's what I was programmed to do, not because that's what I wanted to do. And I literally applied to 100, 100 jobs in one weekend. And I, had, I got a lot of interviews. I got like 20 interviews, but um, I felt myself almost fibbing in all the interviews because I just... I wasn't feeling it. I wasn't feeling it. And I've always wanted to do my own thing. And that's what I've done most of my life, even in high school and in college. And I just felt like, oh, after graduation, I'm supposed to go for a big girl job. And while it was fun and I learned a lot, I think I want to put more thought into the jobs that I apply to moving forward if I do apply to a job and I won't apply to a job for the money. It will be strictly for whatever it is that I'm doing and that it makes me happy. That was me understanding and listening to my body like this is not what you want to do. You don't want to do this. My body was literally telling me. I could feel it. It was like my body was almost tense in every step of that journey. So yeah, that's a little story time. And so clothing, throw away any old clothes that don't fit into your new lookbook. Just throw them away. Well, don't throw them away. You can donate them. But yeah, get rid of them so you can make space for the new things. And even like activities. If there's certain activities that you do right now that like you don't feel super happy with doing, then just don't do them. You know, and save space for other things that do make you feel good when you do it. So, for example, I, I stopped drinking back in August. I also stopped going to the club. It was like a number of things that I stopped doing. It opened up space for me to make other hobbies or do other things, such as reading. Like now I'm in a book club with a, a group of beautiful women intelligent women like now I have time to join run clubs or go to events like theater or like improv and things like that and so I think that's really for, uh, fun and more conducive to the life that I want to lead. So the reason I did this and I disconnected for all, from all those things that I just felt I wasn't aligned with is because over any, when you do those things and over an extended period of time your body starts to show symptoms and these, these symptoms can include depression, anxiety, fatigue, moodiness. And that's something that those are symptoms that I had that I would like go to my therapist and be like, hey, like, I don't know. I think this is what it is. Like, I think this is what it is. But I, I don't have depression. I, I never had it, chronic anxiety. I was just unhappy with what I was doing and my body started showing symptoms of it. So next time you think that you're depressed or you think that, you know, you're just really tired all the time, look inward and see like what's going on in your life that you could possibly not be happy with. And if possible, try to remove it and see if that helps it at all before you, you know, go and throw some pills back. I mean, honestly, I, I was like that. I want I wanted some medicine for it. And my dad literally was like, no, you don't need that. Like, like and I didn't understand at the time. And I was so mad at him. So I was like, well, what do you mean? Like, this is my life. <laughs> but it's true. Like, I didn't need that. I'm so happy now. Was it the fourth or the third? That was the fourth. And I'm also looking at my outline. And this is a free, free thought. But I'm looking at my outline just so I can make sure that I'm on track with this because my brain literally goes everywhere. So the fourth thing that I let go was my limiting beliefs. And so as I mentioned or earlier, our subconscious mind is made up of our limiting beliefs. And, you know, it controls 95% of our life. And so it, pinpointing and reframing all of those limiting beliefs 
are is super vital to changing your entire human experience. Like the way you see things, the way you experience things, the way you love, the way you interact, the way you set goals, the way you move forward in anything. Reframing those thoughts so you have a thought maybe taking a sticky note and writing the bad thought down and then reframing it and then, you know, ripping it off and then placing it on your desk or on your mirror in your restroom or whatever the case you want to put it where you can see it every day. That is a really great method to start reframing all of those limiting beliefs. And, it, you know, some people make it seem like this will just happen if you just sit down and write down all of your limiting beliefs. No, sometimes your limiting beliefs will happen like in the spare of the moment. And it's up to you to be aware enough in your mind to be like, ah, no, I don't believe in this about myself, you know? Like, that doesn't sound like me, you know? Like, and then you just reframe it. Maybe put it down in your phone because it doesn't just all happen when you're sitting down and you're writing it down. Like, maybe a few will pop up, but some of them are pretty deep rooted, maybe, possibly. And those are the ones that will really change your life okay so on to the fifth point i have to let go of um habits slash activities that did not serve me so um for example i mean everyone's different you know what's not serving you and what's not and if you don't know yet it's time for you to take a real sit down with yourself and start analyzing everything that you do and try and see like where could you do better so for me, I love my bed. I have a heated blanket in my bed. I would wake up late late mornings, right? And it would really bother me because I'm the type of person where if I wake up late in the morning or like towards the afternoon, I feel like my day is already over and just like tossing everything. Just like, you know what, whatever, forget it. And that's a bad habit. And so now I make it a point to Make sure I have everything together. Five alarms ready, clothes set out to get up in the morning and do what it is that I need to do. That's just one. There's a, there's plenty, you know, eating disgustingly, eating horrible processed fast food. I don't do that anymore, um, at least as much as I used to. I'm not perfect, but it's just not good for you. And I could go into a rant on how bad all of those things are for you but we're not gonna do that today it's up to you to understand and know what's not good for you and to let go of it so that you can make room for all the things that are and will help you torch your goals so the last thing that i had to let go or slash forgive or slash resolve was past traumas or like feelings of guilt or anger or like any negative emotion that's kind of just settling in the body. Guilt, pain, trauma, anger, fear. These are all negative emotions that are not only bad for your mind, but they're bad for your heart and your body and your organs. And it is important to address those feelings and resolve them as soon as you can in your level up journey you know what it is okay so you don't have to ask anybody you know what it is if there's something that's continuously popping up in your mind ever so often and you feel bad about it or if there's something that you see or you think about and it just really upsets you and make you angry every time that's probably something that you should probably work on to resolve or forgive or whatever the situation may be because that's just unhealthy for you to move through life with those feelings in your heart. If it is super deep rooted, I, I would seek a therapist to help you on that journey because it's two is always better than one, right? That I would say is super huge for leveling up and becoming like the better version, a better version every time. I don't wanna say the best version because I already think where we are now we are the best version because we've worked hard to get to this point to where we are today. So we're working towards becoming a better version and letting go of all of those negative emotions will ultimately catapult you to that next level that you want to be. That was all my points, but I do want to add a few side notes in the end before we go is that leveling up isn't always a physical thing in order for you to truly level up you should level up from within and it 
looks different for everyone but it's ultimately always a beautiful beautiful process look up to your most high for guidance and help along this journey and build that relationship build your faith and understand that no one can tell you who you are that's already been written and you're great you're intelligent you're amazing you're loving you're caring you're everything you're everything that you say you are that god says you are and and walk into the room like that as well and so i thank you for coming to watch my video and i really hope that you got something out of it i love you and i'm an amazing week okay one do you want to say do you want to say bye all right bye this is awesome.